So I've been working on this. I've got my center mechanism sorted out pretty well. I feel good about it. I'm going to try and have the final update, version 1.0, out before Christmas. And it's going to have this one in here. Pretty solid. It's not engaged anywhere here, but it's pretty well even and all that. As far as getting some alignment in there, I'm going to, uh, getting the final alignment, I have a little bit of a different strategy that I'm going to try, so I'm waiting on some parts for that at the moment. But I like the way it looks. It's more robust than the previous, than the uh, first version. So all that's good. The other thing is that I talked to a friend of mine the other day, I haven't talked to him in quite a while, and it turns out he's got his hands on a CNC mill. So we're going to try and work with him and get some drawings together, or you know, in the code, for the different major components down here, the, the panels. And the thing there is not so much cutting out the main cutouts, but making sure that things are in exactly the right place, because when you cut out these levels, you end up cutting out the center, and that center point is your, your most precious reference point that you need a lot of times, and it helps for double checking, and now it's gone. You just have empty space there for, for different reasons. So being able to have some index marks, some little eighth inch or three millimeter holes that, that are there strictly for reference, different guides, uh, a lot of those things would come in very handy. So that's something where I can really see the value on a CNC, and I know quite a few people have them, and that help them utilize it. And when I, got that, when I get that code going, that'll be part of the plans. Might be a while, but we're working on it. The other thing I wanted to say is that another benefit of the CNC is you get identical parts. Some of these parts I was able to make identical, like these top panels, because they're simple shapes. But the other ones, with the jigsaw and how I did it, they're very, very close, but they're not the same. And not being perfectly symmetrical, things have to go in a certain place. You have to mark them. This one goes in this orientation. CNC, cut them all the same, interchangeable parts. It's like the Industrial Revolution all over again. So. Pretty excited about that. I'll give you a close up here of the new center thing. So, in this position, everything's open, but nothing has raised up yet. We're still at our, we have our upper height, intermediate height, and the lowest height. Now, you can hear it beginning to engage the rollers. see that this has risen two levels, one level, same level. Now they're at basically the same height and it begins to compress. The final alignment there, we're going to fine tune. Oops. To do a close up of the inside though, we've gone with the triple lifting system. And this is where the magic happens on that center allows it to drop in there. And that levering is what gives a double lift relative to the other ones. To line up the center linear bearing, and we'll put it back together, or compress it rather. When the new plans come out, I'll do a video also of how the table works. Just going over it again, showing it in action, rotate a little bit, see what's happening, rotate a little more, see what part is engaged, things like that. And I thought it also illustrates, since I'm always seem to be wearing my winter coat in these videos, that I do have heat out here. I just don't use it most of the time. So I have an electric heater up there that runs on 40 amps, uh, 240, and then a natural gas heater there. And we actually have a forge over here, blacksmithing style, that can burn wood and scrap, things like that. This elephant shape here is from the arms that come off the star 
in the table. You can see the shape of the arms. Here I cut out three or four, and then here I cut them out. And at the end we had a beautiful piece of artwork with our elephant that accompanies me, keeps me company in the workshop.